Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana One Productions. Welcome you back to this a little video on what to do when to you, when you get to 90. Now, I did this video uh, when I first dinged, dung, dung, let's go with dung, dung sounds better. When I first dung 90 back at the beginning of Pandaria in September, the year before last, whenever it was, I did a video guide then on to what to do when you get to 90. Uh, I suggest you still go and check that out if you want to see how it's changed, or maybe if you wanted to just do the progression and through the quest in the old way, whatever, who knows. Uh, I'd still suggest you do all the Law Walker stuff that was in there so you get the uh, Red Flying Cloud mount. Where is he? Red. Red Flying Cloud mount. This little jobber. It's not very really red, but it is quite cloud. Um, if you do all the Law Walker stuff, I've, there was a bit of a guide there, go and do that. Uh, first thing you want to do is check your mail, because you'll find that Law Walker Cho has sent you a lovely gift of a Serpent's Heart firework. Look at that go. There you go. That was wonderful. Um, no, not that one. That one. So then you need to go over here, two and a half thousand. It's not cheaper in your Campbell City because it doesn't exist there. You can only get it there. And then baboosh, you can fly places. And then forget that you're flying and cast spells. And then cast your mind just at the last moment. Uh, so that's all good. There's still a bunch of quests all around here. All these, all these guys under here doing the usual stuff. Uh, I will take your quest actually because I want those. Uh, everyone else can, well, you know me, I'm not much of a rep grinder. Uh, the one you do want to take, however, is a flash of bronze. Speak with Chromie outside the Eternal Seat, which is in the middle. So once you've learnt your flying, and obviously I suggest you set your Hearthstone to out here in Pandaria, mine is already there uh, because I'd already used it. So you come over here, resist the urge to get a lift back down with Mishi as much as possible, and then you talk to Chromie. Uh, Chromie will say, speak with Watcher Alundra on the timeless isle of the coast of the Jade Forest. So you can either go, and then you need to fly out there, or you can not fly out there. You can come back to Chromie here, and uh, Chromie will... Oh no. Chromie gives you this thing in your bag. Curious Bronze Times Piece. Boosh. Teleports you out to the Timeless Isle. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it go. Baboosh. And here we are on the Timeless Isle. Which is good, because it means I get to do all these quests over and over again. Which is pretty damn impressive. Considering I haven't done them properly the first time around. <laughs> so then get yourself out to Time Asylum, work through the progression, and you will receive some of these jobbity doos. So these jobbity doos are the timeless uh, stuff. Mail, blah, 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 blah. I have a cloak already, and I have some leggings, which I got from other stuff. So they'll be 496. So let's just see what's my old one. Oh, my old one's not bad, actually. 440, yeah, it's, it's quite bad. Let's do it, because I want my gear to be resto. I'll probably do it as um, dingy, as boom chicken around here. Oh, crit haste, not the best for me. But let's see what that does to my eye level. 408 goes up to 411. Let's do another one. Uh, I want you to go over there, because I want to keep you. Uh, so where's that? Put him there. Fire chances, bridges of the undertow. Haste and spirit, that's not bad. That's better than, like, crit and mastery or something. Boosh, another one of those. Don't know if I want to keep them. Where's that taking me to? 415. So it will take me a couple more to get me into where I need to be to be doing uh, heroics. But yeah, that's what you do. I'm going to be sessioning out the Timeless Isle now, trying to get gear. I'll see if I can get a few friends to come and heal them through doing butler tons of DPS so I can just chill. And yeah, 
that's where I am. I've still got a lot of gear to replace. I've still got some of my old epics. So I might just have to jump into a few more random dungeons to get me up. I might have to see what I can make with leatherworking. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Get to the Timeless Isle and start collecting those Timeless Coins. Uh, there's chests that spawn and around the Firewalking Ruins in the Blazing Way that have some really good gear in. There's the little chesty event thing that's put here. There's all the rares. There's all that good stuff going on. And there's, there's lots of people who like standing in my camera shot on the time of sight. So, this is Sergeant Slack from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for watching this. My much shorter guide to what to do when you hit 90. Uh, please do comment, like, subscribe if you did. And I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra.